One of the things that the church teaches is that you can come to the moral truth of what the Catholic Church teaches by reason alone. It's kind of this prerequisite before conversion in the midst of a twisted and depraved generation. This is why the church teaching on morality is universal. It is for everyone. All are called to become holy and to leave any slavery to corruption in their life. But Catholicism has a unique way of changing someone morally. Yes, it's through virtue and striving to be good and forming holy, habitual habits and actions. But one of the more powerful approaches to moral goodness or leaving sin behind is contemplating all the marvels God has done for us. And the marvel that God has done for us is he sent his son he was scourged the pillar, he bore nails in his hands and in his feet, and he was crowned with thorns. And as he hung upon the cross, he said, forgive them, they know not what they do. And I believe there's nothing more powerful to change one's life than the contemplation of this action of God's Son. It is in contemplating the passion of our Lord where God causes the effect in us to change. First, it helps us to see the effect of sin that truly crucifies our neighbor. And until people see the effect, people remain in kind of this illusionary state about what his or her sins do, and they often go on crucifying. Then when one comes to this conclusion, there's usually this healthy sorrow for sin. And this is meant to move us into contemplating God's love and his mercy. And the fact that he went to the cross for your sins and mine specifically, this is what really captures our hearts, our souls, and our minds as Christians. And we come to understand such a boundless love from God and such great mercy. This sacrifice is what has the power to change one from any slavery to corruption, to move them into the freedom of the children of God. For this is the point of why we shed tears and penance, not simply because we failed in some moral obligation, but because we crucified. But what was reflected back to us was mercy and love in an attempt from God to save us and change us before it's too late and we go down a habitual path of death till we die. For after death, there is no chance to repent or change anything about ourselves, but our life is fixed and we are judged accordingly by the living God.